this is Teacher Phoebe and welcome to my channel. Hi everyone, for this video you are going to learn about the addition of similar fractions. But first, let us define the meaning of fractions. Fractions represent a numerical value that expresses a part of a whole. These are the examples of fractions. We have one-third, one-half, and one-fifth. Now let us study the parts of a fraction. Numerator represents the parts out of the whole or the set. While the denominator shows the total amount of parts that make up a whole. In this figure, the numerator represents the shaded part, while the denominator represents the number of parts that make up a whole. Now let's talk about similar fractions. Similar or like fractions are fractions with the same denominators. These are the examples of similar fractions. We have one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, and four-fifths. As you can see, the denominators of these fractions is 5. We can say that these fractions are like or similar fractions. To help us add similar fractions, let us follow these steps. First, add the numerators. Second, copy the denominator. Lastly, simplify the fraction if possible. Let's have an example. 2 fifths plus 1 fifth is equal to n. Let us follow the steps in adding similar fractions. First, add the numerators. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. The second step is copy the denominator. So let us copy the denominator 5 to our answer. For the last step, let us simplify if possible. 3 and 5 does not have common factors. Therefore, we can say that the sum of 2 fifths and 1 fifth is 3 fifths. Now let's get the sum of 5 eighths and 2 eighths. Let's do the step 1. Add the numerators. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. For step 2, let us copy the denominator 8. Step 3, let us simplify the fraction if possible. Since there are no common factors for 7 and 8, the simplified sum of 5 eighths and 2 eighths is 7 eighths. Now let us have the last example. 2 sixths plus 1 sixth is equal to n. Let us add the numerators 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Let us copy the denominator 6. And for the last step, let us simplify the sum 3 6. The common factor of 3 and 6 is 3. Therefore, we are going to divide the numerator 3 by 3 and the denominator 6 by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Therefore, the simplified fraction of 3 6 is 1 half. Remember, to add similar fractions, you must follow the steps. First, add the numerators. Second, copy the denominator. And third, simplify your answer if possible. Now let us practice what you've learned from this video. Find the sum of 1 fifth and 3 fifths. The answer is 4 fifths. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is equal to n. The correct answer is 2 fourths or 1 half. And for the last item, let's have 3 ninths plus 
4 ninths is equal to n. The correct answer is 7 ninths. Remember, to add similar fractions, you must follow the steps. First, add the numerators. Second, copy the denominator. And third, simplify your answer if possible. Did you enjoy the lesson? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell on this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. Bye!